things that I like in comics, or that were good in comics, was the fact that, I mean, a lot of comics today don't look like this. And this is um Chuck Dixon and Scott McDaniel's Nightwing. And I remember reading this when this came out. And to me, it felt a lot like a, a really, really good action movie. One of the best parts about it is it had really good pacing involved. And the cartooning that Scott McDaniels did for this book just made you kind of feel like you were watching a really cool action film. Like if we were to, he's got a, the way that he does his buildings perspective shows. I think I heard Chuck Dixon talk about how he was the only one that could draw Bloodhaven in a really, in a way like that, you know. It was a way that, you know, you had this, he had an ability to show the entire city in a very unique perspective. I think it looks like 23 perspectives is what he said. Like you can tell that this town does, looks like nobody cares. You got the freeway that's going over it. You got the uh, random high-rise buildings near it. You got everything going on. But I mean, other than that, it's just the way that it's, it's written and drawn. Like you get the, the bus stop and... The storytelling and the writing in it, the narration, works exceptionally well. And, then, you know, you get to see how everything tends to work. And you see Dick Grayson, obviously, with uh, his, I don't want to say mullet, but his long mane of hair. <laughs> and you get to see, you know, him... Doing a lot of really cool stuff going on. And one of the... It's like a lot of the things that they did... Open your bastard. Was the action scenes. The action scenes in this are what I think are missing... Oops. A lot of today... You don't see a lot of cool scenes like this. And all the poses and every and the poses and just just a figure drawing and how like I said it feels like you're reading an action movie or watching an action movie with the breakneck pacing. And this when I remember this was when I was in high school and I'm stuttering over my words, but this was one of my favorite comics growing up. Just because it was so... It was the one thing that I liked as a kid. And I think if they brought comics back to something like this, they would likely sell a lot better. The art needs to get better like this. Like, this tells... Just the layouts of this and the way it is. And how everything is moving around and it just catches your eye. You know, it's just, you get a lot of this cool stuff going on. And, you know, this run on, on Nightwing was always just really good. Characters felt, it just felt a lot like an action movie. You know, you got scenes like this. That, you know, he's got just the way that it's written, the name. That, that name, Gangland Express, sounds like a 1970s film, too. It's the thing about it. Like, one of the things that I love about this is just the way the storytelling of these pages works was just 
really good. Like some things are in the shade, and some things are not. And I sound like I'm rambling at a loss for words, but what I'm trying to get through is again, we need more storytellers like this in current comics. Nightwing was one of those things that just, it felt like an action movie. It felt like you're watching a really, really good action movie. And it had, you know, the stories and the characters worked in this. And Scott McDaniel was firing on all cylinders. Like, this just looks... I mean, there's probably muscles that aren't really in the body, but it doesn't matter because it tells a really cool story. You get to see stuff like this. Again, the perspective on it and the layouts and just... The, it also, the one thing that I'm starting to realize now as I look at this again is this also... This also shows, like, Chuck Dixon knew how to write that uh, Dick Grayson was also a pretty good detective. Like, almost on par with Bruce Wayne or Batman. But he was also, like, obviously a much more agile acrobat, and it shows here. But just the way that Scott McDaniel draws these fight scenes and action scenes, it just, like, the high-octane breakneck pace it's got really now this thing right here right here like you don't see this stuff a lot in comics where you see the character moving from like point A to B to doing here to here just bouncing around the page like to show you the his movement and then like this like it it you don't get a lot of artists or writers that can do that nowadays, and it's kind of sad. And this is one of the things that I loved about this comic, because it just... I love when I get to see the cartooning of it, and you get to see a character, I guess, ricochet off walls in a panel like that, and shows you just how agile they are. You know, and you see scenes like this. I'm going to see if I can find another one. Because there's more. Kind of like that. It shows the motion of the characters. You don't get to see that a lot. Like this scene right here. Again, you get to see the motion of how good Dick Grayson is. I don't know how that... That's probably going to injure your back. You might want to work... Not do that... But it shows that, look, he can... This is something that I want to see more of in comics. This is why I love this comic so much. Still as an adult and as what, reading it, rereading it years later. It just feels like a fun thing to read. And it's smartly written, too. And I'll always point out that this is one of the things that we need in comics. It's a lot of fun. There's not a lot of character movement and momentum with characters like that and characters aren't written as intelligent like this but anyways I would like if you get the chance I would recommend you do check out um, Chuck Dixon's uh, Nightwing comic it's really really good and I mean I can't I'm not really stressing that too much but you know, just the art and the writing. Everything just matches up. Everything's on all cylinders. So I, I would recommend that you guys check this out. You could probably find it on Comixology for pretty cheap. Or if you have the money and the space, try to get the back issues of this run. I think he was on there for about like 71 issues. But I highly recommend that you check out um, Chuck Dixon... And Scott McDaniel's Nightwing. And these this is one of the things that I love and that I miss about comic books. And we need more of it. And uh, thank you. And that is all.